welcome back to my channel. We are back with another hair video. So I'm not sure if you guys saw but recently I did a video in collaboration with Clairol for their semi-permanent colour crave hair dye and this stuff is amazing. You'll have seen I mix the shades Orchid and Flamingo together to get a super vibrant colourful hairdo that lasted me weeks so it lasts from like 10 to 15 washes. Since then I have had my extensions out and a new set put in. It does wash out after about 10 to 15 washes depending on how light your hair is. I really love doing my hair wacky colours but a lot of you guys say that you would love to do something like that but it's a little bit too much commitment which I completely understand. This time round I have collaborated with Clairol again and the Flaunt Your Fearless Mantra is very much the same, but this time we're going to be using the Colour Crave Hair Makeup. So I'm going to show you guys all the colours. They have brought out six shades of hair makeup from the Colour Crave collection. You've got Shimmering Copper, Shimmering Platinum, Brilliant Amethyst, Shimmering Bronze and Brilliant Ruby and Shimmering Rose Gold. So those are the six shades just right here. It is swipe on, wash off. The way you use it is shake the tube before your use, squeeze the tube until the colour appears in the sponge applicator, swipe onto dry hair stands, heat with a blow dryer to lock it in and then you just wash it out with shampoo. So this stuff is streak it on and wash it off. So there is no commitment but it is super quick, really really easy. Hopefully I'm going to show you that. It gives you the opportunity to have fun colours in your hair. Obviously really good time of year for this Halloween coming up. I am going to use two shades. I'm going to use the shades Brilliant Amethyst and Shimmering Rose Gold. I'm going to use these two colours to get a kind of unicorn -y hairdo. So I'm going to get these four shades and pop them to the side and we're going to open up these boxes and I'm going to show you what's inside. Yes! So this is the colours right here. So let's do the purple one first. So my hair is currently unwashed. I've not washed it for a few days. So it's perfect, perfect consistency for this. Obviously you can do it however you like. When you open it up, it comes just like this. It's got a sponge applicator. Oh! You squeeze it. And you see it coming out at the top. I'm going to close that back up. I'm going to give it a good shake. There we go. There's the colour. Now obviously I've got blonde hair so it's going to hopefully really show up. I'm going to take off my jewellery just in case. I don't know what's going to happen. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to section off random pieces of my hair. So obviously the blonder parts are going to show up better but it does work on dark hair as well. So let's take a little section like this. And then you just give it a squeeze. I think I'm going to use my hand behind. Ooh. Ooh. So I'm just going to use my hands and I've got a little towel down here. Okay, let's try and blow dry this in. So I'm just going to take a flat brush. You can see a little flash of colour under there, but I'm going to try and do it again, but a little bit darker. I'm going to take a piece that's really close to my face. Ooh, that's more vibrant. Wow, that's crazy. It's just like colouring your hair in. You see that? Okay, I'm going to use this brush this time. There we go. Can you see it? It's like super light lilac. You can go over it again and again to get it darker but I really like how soft and pastel-y that is. So I'm going to go in now with the shimmering rose gold colour. Let's try this, give it a good shake and let's try that on this side. This does go with my eye makeup. <laughs> I meant that. I do definitely recommend wearing old clothes for this just because it will take you a little second to get used to it. Okay, so the shimmering rose gold is a lot more soft but if I show you close up, 
you can see here that you're starting to get those rosy tones and then here obviously the lilac is much brighter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around my hair because I've got a lot of hair and I'm going to do little sections of each through my hair until it's looking a little bit more colourful and then we're going to style it. <music> of the pink and the purple through my hair. I am not gonna lie, I used my hand to put behind my hair just to sponge it on just so I could keep the sections a little bit more separate but it washes off so my hands are totally fine so that's definitely a good thing. And now what I'm gonna do to style my hair, I'm gonna brush it all out and then I'm gonna curl it using my usual tongue and we're just gonna do beachy waves and then I'm gonna do some pleats but first I'm gonna do my beachy waves. Ta -da! I think this is really, really cute. I can't believe it. Look how much it goes with my eye makeup. I've got my warm crease like usual and my purpley lid. And that's just like my hair. So you could leave your hair like this but I thought it would be really cute. I'm just going to grab a little strand of hair. So here's a bit here that's the super pinky and I'm going to brush it out and I'm just going to do a really normal pleat. I am awful at hair you guys honestly. So I know a lot of people in here can do all this crazy braids but I can't. So I'm just going to do my normal the one you learn when you're like eight years old. But this is this was super trendy through the summer and I still really love it. And then what you could do if you wanted is you could get those hair rings or any other kind of hair accessories. We call them pleats, I think they're called braids. And then if you do it nice and small like this and nice and tight, then you won't need to use a hair tie. But you could, if you wanted to use hair ties, you could go and get those little see-through baubles, see-through elasticy band ones. How sweet is that with the pink hair? And then you can just leave it like that and then you've got your little pleat. So I'm going to do one on the other side. That one's a little bit shorter, but YOLO. So we've got two little pleats. And then all you have to do to get this stuff out is shampoo your hair and it's totally done. Hey presto! So we thought that this look would be really cute for a unicorn obviously because it's super pastel and colourful. Imagine I had a little unicorn horn here, which I did intend on purchasing but I didn't have time so just imagine the cutest. If you guys are wondering what other shades there are and where to go and get it, I will include a link in the bio for you guys so you can head straight over there. I've already spoke to you guys about the Colour Crave semi permanent colour as well. I will link my video to that down below as well where I dye my hair semi permanently and it's all very bright and pink and great. But this is really, really cute. It's actually perfect for me because I love the pastel look. It's so, so easy, but really, really cute. Really, really fun. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you to Clear All for sponsoring this video as well. And if there's any other videos you guys would like to see from me, please let me know down below. And apart from that, I will see you in the next one. Bye.